Lately, since I've left my schooling days, life in general has been pretty unpredictable. Every day has its surprises. Recently, I've been joining and trying out new things. Like the other day, I went for a miniature modeling class. I also tried street photography, which I love so much. Other than that, Nazreen and I attended a Toastmasters meeting to try it out. And this was us afterwards. So we just finished doing uh, going to our first ever um, Toastmasters meeting and it was so great. And Naz Nazreen gave a speech about how he thought gold was a color of love and I, I thought it was really awesome. We loved it. And the thing about trying new things is that it comes with meeting new people. And you know how a first impression lasts long? So to become official members of Toastmaster Sha'alam, we had to go through the process everyone does, which is this icebreaker speech. And this was ours. Thank you to the Toastmaster of the evening and good evening to the fellow Toastmasters. I am Nadira and today I'm going to tell you guys the story of my life for the past 18 years. So it all started on 9th of January 2001. It was the day my mom gave birth to me, my brother, my other brother, and my sister. <laughs> I'm quarter of quadruplet twins and I got to admit, life growing up was pretty amazing. Uh, I remember vividly um, spending our days in the beach as we lived in Kuantan, then Chunganu before moving to Selangor. And once we moved here, our house had a garden side and we would always have this thing called the Twin Olympics where we would play basketball, we would play badminton, a lot of football. And me being the clumsy kid I was, I would always fall down and get cuts and bruises. But I was really proud of it. I called them my battle scars. And um, then came primary school. Aside from getting my education, I think I made most of my time there as I entered quite a number of competitions. And um, it all started in English class. So my teacher, she would allocate five minutes at the start of every lesson for anyone to just go in front and do a share and tell, show and tell or storytelling. So I thought to myself, you know, why not for once in your life, just do something courageous. And I went home, I got my ping pong bat I selected a picture of a tiger on one side and a picture of a mouse deer on the other and this was my prop. I went to school the next day and I did a, share, a storytelling about the tale of the mouse deer and the tiger. And thinking about that event in my life, I want to go back and say thank you to my younger self because that opened doors of opportunities for me. My teachers saw potential in me and because of that, I was chosen um, to represent my school and the nation to multiple competitions all throughout Malaysia and I even got the opportunity to travel to Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand and Korea for those competitions. And then um, came high school. It was a rough start, um, I must say. Adapting to change is, is never easy. But then came the year 2016. I say this every single time, but the year 2016 was the year that changed my life for the better. It was the year I sat for my PT3 exam. It was also the year I entered the F1 in schools competition. See, the F1 in school is, is this competition based on STEM learning, where it motivates children to pick up engineering. And um, the team I was in, Synchronine, we made it to the world stage in 2017. And uh, we made a recycling campaign for our marketing activity. And because of that, we won the Innovative Thinking Award. Um, back to 2016, it was this crazy, life-changing year um, because I found my true passion. See, growing up, I've always loved taking pictures and editing short vlogs during birthdays or random outings. But uh, in the year 2016, I entered my very first video competition with my twin siblings. Uh, because we just needed to release some stress from this exam phase we had and um, to our surprise we won first place for that competition and ever since that day it has motivated me to keep on making these videos and with the support of my family and so many friends right now I have a YouTube channel filled with these videos on the topics of cyberbullying, uh, mental health, patriotism, a whole lot of educational videos and the most recent video I made and the one I'm most proud about is the recent smoking ban in Malaysia. See, um, the whole video editing process, it's such a magical thing to me because there is the planning phase, it's, uh, I have to make sure I do my research right so I don't get my facts wrong, and then there's the prop making, see, because I love to experiment with stop motion, so most of the time I am just cutting out papers and um, using acrylic paint to make these props and I get to express myself creatively. 
And then there is the um, script making part and the voiceover part is where I, I don't really like the voiceover. I don't like listening to my voice being recorded, but I will do it for a video. And then there's the filming stage and my favorite part, the editing process. It's where I take the voiceovers and the background music and the video itself and I see my story come alive. And it's truly beautiful for me. Um, yeah, so now post FSPM, post um, high school life, I have, have had all this time in the world and uh, right now I'm just making one video, I'm, I'm challenging myself to make one video every week to post on YouTube. At the same time, I am interning at Arus Makerspace. It's this maker hub in Sha'alam where you can basically come and just create stuff. We have a laser printer and a uh, 3D printer and a laser cut machine and um, the main goal of that company is to um, uh, encourage children to learn better and uh, I really love being there. I, I love the whole um, company as they are really uh, awesome people and they inspire me every day to work harder. And this has been the story of my life so far. It was, uh, I hope you've learned something from me and thank you. Back to you Mr. Thomas. <laughs> Good evening everybody, my name is Said Nasrin and I have a question for all of you. Do you like Oreos? Of course. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. well, I, funny thing, I see a similarity between Oreos and people. People are like Oreos because the good thing, the good stuff is in the inside. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, today I have been given a great opportunity to come and present myself and talk a little bit about my life to all of you. I'm a new member to this club with my sister Sharifa Nadira and I am excited to meet all of you and I hope just like an Oreo through my story you get to actually know my, uh, the tr uh, myself from my speech well currently at this point of my life I'm 18 years old and I haven't, uh, I haven't really done anything yet except well join this amazing club mm. but I have um, I have just started this arduous journey known as dog food <laughs> and I'm quite enjoying it because I've done things such as apply for college and taken my driver's license. Oh. Yes. So I, I actually just graduated from uh, my high school, Sekolah Datuk Abdul Razak. It's an all boys school in Seremban. It's also a boarding school. <laughs> uh, fun fact, the school was also my father's school. It was, it was his alma mater and that's how I got to know about the school actually. Yes, and in that school, I did. I was also the uh, vice president of the Gable Club, which is an affiliate of the Toastmasters International. Which is how I got to know uh, Toastmasters itself, mm. and I'm also the president of the debate team there. Ooh. Yes. So, uh, yes. So now moving on. Uh, Bob, uh, Michael J. Fox once said that family isn't an important thing, but it's everything. And with that, I'd like to share a bit about those influential and important people in my life, my family. Um, ever since I could remember, I've always uh, been the center of attention. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but because ever since I was young, I had to share the spotlight with my three other siblings, who are also the same age as me, Nadira, Nazira, and Nazmi. <laughs> uh, we are actually quadruplets, and I read, I read online that there is a 1.5% of having twins uh, in, 100, in 100 births. But having uh, conceiving quadruplets is a one in a million chance. I'm not really good at maths, which is another thing. So I can't really give you calculations on that. <laughs> so also, I, I'd like to also introduce to you uh, my, fa my parents. Uh, my parents are Sayyidatun, uh, my father, Sayyidatun Shadir, and my mother, Sayyidatun Nazura. These two have been an important. Uh, these two have been an important figure in my life. Ever since I was young, they've supported me through all my trials and tribulations, uh, and everything I faced. Uh, my fa my father is currently stationed in Qatar, while my mother is unemployed, but she's taking care of all four of us at home. All right. So now, finally, I like to talk, I like to talk a bit about my uh, passions and interests. So in school, I was uh, I was the president of the debate team, and I love debate a lot. The idea of sharing, of giving up my uh, giving up my opinions and arguing has always been uh, something I love to do. And I also 
uh, I love meeting the people there. I have won a few accolades in debates such as best speaker and best speaker of finals. But need to, in my opinion, meeting all these exciting people throughout my debating career was definitely the highlight of my whole career in high school. Also, I am a huge fan of basketball. I love to play basketball, especially in the afternoon uh, with my younger brother Nazmi. And I'm a huge fan of the Los Angeles Lakers. So go Lakers! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And actually, when I grow up, I, uh, I dream of launching my own lifestyle brand that will be globally known one day. So uh, that's all about myself. So in conclusion, I hope that all of you got, have gotten to know me uh, through my speech. And also, I cannot wait to continue my journey with Toastmasters. Sha'alam. Thank you. each member gives their speech, they will be evaluated by a senior member. And I just love this whole process. Everyone's learning from each other and it's super inspiring. And I cannot wait for the next Toastmasters meeting. So me and Nazrin just finished our icebreaker speech and it was the most inspiring meeting today. What do you think Nazrin? That was pretty cool. Right? I mean, the level of like, oratory skills that right? these people bring here are like... Awesome. I feel super motivated every time I come back. Uh, we've got to wait two more weeks for the next meeting, but it was great. 